everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you um, all the outfits that my dolls are currently wearing. I'm going to be doing this video in two parts because I have 21 dolls I think so these videos can get lengthy. So this will be part one and this will be my modern dolls and then um, hopefully soon I'll do part two which is um, my historical dolls. So first up is Nova, my custom, um, number 29, I think. Um, so here's what she is wearing. Most of my modern dolls are wearing something historical right now. Something of Kit, Molly, Nanea, Melody, Mary Ellen, that kind of stuff. Um, so Nova is wearing this white Our Generation shirt. I got this in like 2015, I think. It was around the same time that I got Molly, so I think it was 2015. Um, anyway, she's wearing the white, um, Our Generation shirt, Mary Ellen's capris, and these saddle shoes. They are not American Girl, but they fit them. And she has a little pride flag that my sister made for me. Next up is Hannah, my number 26. And she is wearing Nanea's me outfit, except for her sandals, which are our generation. Um, so even before I got Nanea, like when Nanea first came out, when I saw her meet outfit, I was like, oh my gosh, that would look so cute on Hannah. So um, she's worn it several times since I got Nanea, who I ended up customizing. So her name isn't Nanea anymore. But anyway, here's what Hannah is wearing. I like to put um, clips and flowers in Hannah's hair because I think it looks really cute. And she has this orange button-down shirt and these white shorts, which are a little wrinkled because um, she was sitting for a long time. But they are so cute. And our generation sandals. I use these sandals a lot because they go with a lot of different things. Here's Blair um, wearing one of Nanea's outfits. I'm not sure what this outfit is called, um, but here it is. She looks very cute in it. Um, like, every color looks good on Blair, but I think that the blues and greens in this dress look very cute on her. Um, and I like these little shoes that go with it. And she is also wearing a little bracelet with her name on it that my sister gave me, and she almost always wears it. Here's Piper, my um, number four, though um, I'm planning on customizing her soon, so she's probably going to get a name change. But anyway, here's Piper, and she's wearing one of Molly's outfits. I'm not 100% sure what this outfit is called. I want to say it was a roller skating outfit, but I'm not sure because um, it was around before I got into American Girl. Um, anyway, I really like the polka dot shirt. I put it with a lot of different things. But these are the shorts that it came with, and I know, I'm pretty sure that these are the shoes, but I'm honestly not sure. Um, I got, like, all of this in a big lot of doll clothes, so I'm not 100% sure what goes with what. But anyway, here's Piper, looking very cute in this. <laughs> Here we have Adora, my custom number 31. She is wearing one of Nanea's outfits. I love this outfit so much. It's one of my favorite outfits. It has the crop top, the shorts, the green sandals, and the flower for her hair. I love putting clips in um, Adora's hair because it's like similar to Kit's. And I just, I think it's really cute. Here is Noelle. She is an Our Generation doll. And she is wearing one of Kit's outfits also don't remember the name of this outfit, but it's one of my favorites. Um, so it has this floral print dress. I love the embroidery on the collar and the little belt, which is made of the same fabric as the collar. Um, this is turning into a review of this outfit, but anyway, <laughs> this is the outfit that she's wearing and the little shoes that go with it. I use these shoes with a lot of different outfits. They go with a lot of different things. Um, and so, yeah, here's Noelle looking very cute. Here's Natalie, my number 47, and she is wearing this shirt that I made for my dolls, like, 
a really, really long time ago. I think it was when I got Caroline, who I don't have anymore, but I got her in 2014, so, like, a really long time ago. Um, not American Girl overalls. I loved all overalls. <laughs> um, I also got these a really long time ago. And these little Crocs that I got for Christmas, like, I was gonna try to find, like, some, like, historical shoes that go with this, but I had already put those on my other dolls, so Natalie's wearing Crocs, um, but it'd be like that sometimes, I guess. So, yeah, here's what Natalie is wearing. Here's Lacey, my number 58. She is wearing one of Kit's outfits. I don't remember what it's called, but it looks really cute on her. Um, it's yellow with um, pink ribbon trim and a floral skirt and little yellow shoes with the matching pink bows. And she has another pink bow in her hair. Sage is wearing Kit's Be Forever Me outfit. So we have this dress. I don't know what to call this color. Possibly teal. I don't know. <laughs> um, with the red and white belt and the little flowers on the bottom and the matching red shoes. Um, and she has her hair in two braids. Um, usually, I pretty much always keep Sage's hair either braided or in a bun or two buns just because like it's so long so I feel like it gets messed up really easily. Here's Grace. Um, she is wearing Mary Ellen's meat outfit minus the little sweater. So here's the meat dress. I love these colors on Grace. Like um, this color, the color of the ribbon and the st stripes, that's like exactly the color that I think of when I think of like Grace's vibe like I think it just suits her so well um she has little silver hoop earrings and the black shoes that um are part of Mary Ellen's meat outfit for her hair like I put her hair up kind of like in Samantha's hairstyle and then I try to turn it into a bun which is difficult because Grace's hair is pretty straight so it doesn't really like to be twisted into a bun but anyway um was kind of going for a um, Setsuna vibe from Sailor Moon because I love Setsuna. Um, so, I mean, like, it's not perfect, but I think it looks cute. Um, my custom doll, Mara, is wearing one of Melody's outfits. I feel like it might have been called her play outfit, but I'm honestly not sure. <laughs> um, so it has this striped shirt with kind of like a zigzag bottom and the tassels and shorts and these little white shoes and she is also wearing a little bracelet that my sister gave me for my birthday um honestly like this outfit like for me like the tassels were kind of strange but like it, it's cuter in person <laughs> here's micah my custom nanea um she is wearing this white non-american girl shirt um this floral skirt that i made a really long time ago um the shoes that come with one of kit's outfits i think it was called kit's school skirt set something along the lines of that these shoes i also put with a lot of different outfits because they go with a lot of different things and she has the little doll hospital socks on because i always need socks for my dolls um, she has her hair styled like Usagi's because, um, I pretty much always have at least one of my doll's hair studied, styled like Usagi's because Usagi has the cutest hairstyle. Um, I tried to do her hair like Usagi does in the, um, live action Sailor Moon show just because, like, it's easier for me than doing, like, a separate bun. It just, so, it's just, like, part of the ponytail wrapped around the top of the ponytail. Um, I think she looks really cute. Micah has, um, like, a really pronounced head tilt, and, like, I don't really know why. Like, um, when I customized her, I had to take her head off so I could do the eye swap, and, um, so she had a zip tie around her neck, so I had to replace it with neck strings, and, like, ever since, like, I took her head off, like, she's had, like, a head tilt, and I, like, I've tried to like rearrange stuffing but um 
This is just her thing, I guess, but I mean, it's cute. It's endearing. Last but not least is Asami, my number 64. She is wearing one of Kit's outfits. I feel like it was possibly her chicken feeding outfit, but I don't know if I'm saying that because, like, it came with a little chicken, and um, I think in the catalog photos, like, there was some chickens involved. But anyway, it's one of Kit's outfits. It has this floral shirt and the blue overalls, the little brown shoes, and pink headband. Um, Asami, um, her name, like, I've kind of been unsure about. Like, I got her in February, I think. I'm pretty sure it's February. Um, that's when I got her. And it took me a while to figure out a name for her. I was thinking possibly Diana, like, um, Diana from Little Witch Academia. Um, I went with Asami after the character from The Legend of Korra. But then... Um, earlier in the spring, um, I had her dressed as Sailor Jupiter for a while for a video that me and my sister were working on, and so she was dressed as Mako, so, like, every time I would come in, um, to my room and I'd see her on my shelf, I'd be like, Mako, but then I'd be like, oh, no, wait, Asami, <laughs> so, um, for the most part, like, I call her Asami, and that's what I, like, call her when I post pictures of her on my Instagram, but sometimes, like, kind of unsure about her name, so it, it'd be like that sometimes. For the time being, her name is Asami, but it might change. So that'll be the end of part one of what my dolls are wearing. Um, in part two, which hopefully I will make soon, um, I will do my historical dolls. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a really great day. Um, if you want, you can check out my Instagram. It is currently Waterbender Josefina, but I believe that I'm going to be changing that soon. I kind of just want something new. Um, but I will put the link in the description. 